Okay, this is a rather noisy entry for the flashing light competition. Uh, we're using a neon light, but we're exciting it by microwave energy. I'll just switch it off so we can talk over it. It's particularly noisy because this uh, oscillator is in the audio range, uh, and it's a homemade transformer, so it's probably not great either. Um, Concerns wise of obviously being microwave energy, it's running at quite a low power, um, which is something that they say is quite difficult to do with magnetrons. Uh, but my supply to this is 12 volts and it's drawing 2 amps. Um, so we're really talking 24 watts dissipated. Uh, it may be a bit peaky here, I'm not sure, um, but there's certainly not that much energy there. Um, there's certainly no heating effects around about it. I've also left the um, waveguide on top, so again we're kind of controlling where the the radiation's coming out this way. Uh, it seems okay. The only thing I've managed to get my camera to kind of crash because I pointed it in. So a bit like my previous entry for 2017, um, I'm actually switching off and on the heater of this magnetron uh, to give the modulation. Uh, that works out quite well because the thermal inertia in the cathode gives me a hysteresis which I want so I have the duty cycle. But more interestingly, um, the neon as it ionises becomes a conductor and there's a, 12, a, 10, a 12 volt feed into the neon uh, and into this FET which operates the relay. So that's my feedback. Uh, and I can demonstrate that it's definitely working because I've put a switch here. And if I switch it on and you'll see it pulsing again, and I operate the switch, then the feedback's broken and this will run continuously. Just to demonstrate it isn't actually picking up a signal from here like an aerial. If I switch off the 12 volt supply feeding the neon, it will just give you a continuous microwave output with turning the 12 volts there, switches the heater off and it oscillates again. Okay, this is the circuit we have for the flashing light. We have a 12 volt supply and a ZVS oscillator which is driving this transformer and producing a high voltage but this is a doubler arrangement for the anode plate of the magnetron. The magnetron heater is applied from an external supply which is variable and the switch here is normally is normally closed uh, by this relay over here. This is the neon lamp we're flashing with the, the microwave energy coupling it and when this can, uh, it produces a kind of glow with a plasma in it this effectively becomes a resistor and that operates this uh, MOSFET operating relay breaking the heater connection and switching off the magnetron with microwave energy. The, the thermal mass of this heater gives us the hysteresis we require to give us the flashing rate. We can also adjust the flashing rate it's partly by this distance between the lamp and the magnetron and also varying the voltage on the supply, with the heater supply, and slightly with the 12 volt supply, which is connected between here as well. I'll put more details and a link to a, a website.